My friend, it's possible that you have heard someone saying the fruits of the Spirit. Well, because when they read here in Galatians 5, 22, 23, about these nine characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit, they, for some reason, they say, well, that's the fruits of the Spirit. <laughs> but the truth is, there is one fruit listed here. The word is singular. Humans, we are emotional beings. We need to understand what the Bible says about our emotions. The interesting part about it is that the same Bible, in one of the books of the Bible, the book of Psalms, we find any number of writings that are fully loaded with emotions. You know, some of those Psalms, and you probably have read that, when, when it says, the writing says, I feel that I'm about to die. Where are you, God? It's like, you're not doing your job type of thing, right? <laughs> Others are uh, exciting songs like, I rejoice in your presence, God, and I am here with my musical instruments <laughs> and all that. And also there are ones when, when the, the author, the writer is saying, Lord God, would you please kill my enemies? <laughs> Gosh. Well, that's life. You know, we, we have an intellect, right? We, we like to reason. We like to think what's going on. But the truth is that when it's about decisions, you know, I think more and more about this, that many of my decisions are based on the feeling that I got inside of me. Now, the problem is that our emotions can betray us. We cannot trust in our hearts. We cannot trust in our emotions because not always they are going to lead us to do what is right. 